100 computer to a digital audio recorder. Um, first of all, you need a cable that comes originally with the Tandy CCR81 tape drive, which probably came with your machine when you got it, but you may not have it anymore or it may not work anymore, which is common with uh, cassette recorders. Um, so if you don't have that, what you do have is a digital audio recorder of some sort. You can uh, actually use that instead of the CCR81 to load and save your programs. Um, make sure you have the cord. If you don't have that cord, you can get one at uh, Club 100 still, I believe. Um, or you might find one on eBay. You can also make them. I'll provide a link for that and other sources in the end of the video and in the description below and uh, let's go ahead and do this so i have my input gain set to normal uh, but i have it cranked up on the actual recording part you want to record in mono uh, as a wave as high a resolution as you can get which is about 44.1 kilohertz um, you want to put the gray wire into the microphone in, the black wire into the line out, and plug in your cable to the Model 100 and you should be ready. I'm going to load in a basic program I have on this uh, computer, or we can just load it from the menu. Let's go ahead and load timelapse.basic and really quickly break out of it, do a list. So here we have my basic program in memory. Uh, I've got the recorder set to record as soon as I hit the record button. So we'll wait for it to finish listing. Then we will C save, quote, test, record wait for it to start recording and then hit enter and you'll see the little uh, record level go up a little bit you want to record it pretty high okay now it's done so I hit stop save the file save it as number six and uh, well it says it's number six because I've been uh, doing this a few times to get it right. Now, to load the file, you see load. Let's say you want to, you come into this and you want to load your basic file again. Test dot ba and enter and then hit play. Ta -da gets to sing its little song. You know it's good if you've... Oh, there's a problem. Oh, this worked prior. Anyway. Oh, I didn't have it up all the way. Let's try it again. C load. Test. Dot. Okay, this time I'll have the volume up all the way. I must have hit it with my finger. And if you don't have it up all the way, the Tandy 100 is kind of deaf. It's an old one, so you've got to really crank up the volume. So we load, hit play. I found it. And it's okay this time. All right, that's good. Let's run it, make sure it runs. Seconds between shots, oh, two seconds. Exposure to shoot, 10 exposures. Enter. That thing's firing off the 
remote cable, which I use to do time-lapse exposures. It just needs a simple on-off switch. And so I use the actual controller that controls the cassette on-off to fire off a camera. And that's one of the handy uses of this machine. So, once it gets down to 10 exposures, then it should shut down. Yay, and it shoot. Working perfectly. That's how you do a basic program, but let's find out what we need to do. Uh, to do a document. So I'm loading the same thing as a uh, document file into the text editor. Uh, hit stop. Hit record. Make sure I've got everything up again. And uh, F3 is saved to the cassette. You want to save it as test. Dot do. Hit record. Make sure it's recording. Hit enter. Okay, when it's done, it'll show you that it's done. We can uh, get out of here and start a new file. Test. Oops, I should, probably shouldn't be. Okay, stop. That won't matter because we uh, let it overrun a little bit. We can load. Test. Play. Listen to it sing it, its little song. Found. And there we go. Loads it just fine. And that's how you do it.